Next up, we've got Cody Thompson out of Toledo. So he is 73.5 inches tall, so six foot one and a half, 205 pounds, 9.375 inch hands, 74.625 inch span. So his numbers are middle of the pack, except his wingspan is a little shorter than average in this class. He's fairly old for this class at 23.22 years. He's a redshirt senior. His weight, span, and hand size divided by height numbers are all right in the middle of the pack. So he did actually have a pretty good combine. Uh, way better than I expected from watching the film, to be honest. There's one receiver where I feel like I watched the film and gave up too early. It's Cody Thompson. So I'm definitely going to be watching the draft to see what teams are thinking about him. Because I definitely gave up on the film pretty, pretty quick. He had a 38.5 inch vertical, which was pretty good, above average in this class. 119 inch broad jump, which was below average, but only by a little bit. 19 reps on the bench, which was one more than Anthony Johnson, which was above average. A 6.873 cone, which was really good actually in this class. A 4.03 20 yard shuttle, which is my favorite drill for any position, including wide receiver. So that's what makes me think I definitely may have quit the film too early and didn't give him the proper vetting that he deserved. He was also one of the few receivers to run the 60-yard shuttle and ran an 11.39 time, which was the best in the class. Well, tied for best in the class. When only three people in the wide receiver group run the 60-yard shuttle, one, it makes me think all these wide receivers are super lazy, and two, it can't be that relevant of a drill. The only game I watched was against Fresno State. Looks ridiculously unathletic. So when I watched this before the combine, and then now I look at his numbers, and he's doing pretty good in all the drills, it makes me think, huh, uh, maybe I just let the white bias, even though I'm white, uh, influence my decision. But the thing that I did notice about his combine is that he did not run a 40-yard dash. So maybe I'm not that wrong. Maybe he's just a more short area type of receiver. Loads on his takeoff. Pretty nice route on a post slash dig with a head fake. Horrible comeback route, did not come back to the quarterback, almost resulting in a pick. Never saw the ball. Super lazy when not getting the ball. Super lazy when not getting the ball five plays in a row. This is the stupidest offense I've ever seen. And then I stopped watching film. So as I said, I really was not expecting anything out of Cody Thompson. Maybe it was by offensive design that the wide receivers don't do anything when they're not getting the ball. But I just could not handle the laziness. I was probably in a bad mood. I, I mean, going through 42 receivers when, you know, you still have tight ends, quarterbacks, and running backs to get through. Well, we'll do that to you sometimes. But I'm going to be pretty interested to see if he gets drafted, uh, to see where he goes in the draft. Just based on his combine numbers, I'm probably going to go back to the film and update this. But overall, I can just say he was one of the lower rated receivers I had in this tier. The laziness was something I just can't handle. If you're lazy in college, what's going to change? when you go to the NFL just because now you're in the NFL I mean there are 42 other people who are about to be in the NFL playing the same position 